Minnesota Fighting Vikings head coach Mike Zimmer fed the media jackals on Wednesday ahead of their showdown at Detroit. This is Detroit, man. This is a Super Bowl uh, against the 0-10 and 1 low energy Lions, but the Vikings cannot take the Lions for granted because as we know, the Lions are going to give the Vikings a game because the Vikings always play close games this year. Yeah. And notably, Zimmer actually said some things of note, notably, noting that so let's get into it. On rookie first round pick, Christian freaking Derisaw, Chris Thompson, go. Uh, Vikings coach Mike Zimmer said Derisaw has an ankle injury and his status remains to be seen for Sunday's game at Detroit. And Derisaw got rolled up halfway through the Niners game, replaced by Rashad Hill. So it, it would be unfortunate if he missed the Lions game, but if it's a spot where it, it, he could potentially re injure that ankle then yes, sit him down for a game, have Rashad Hill in against Detroit. I don't know, maybe have Derisaw active, but as a Alamo last resort sort of deal. They also have Blake Brandle on the roster, who they've experimented at guard, but was a left tackle by trade in college. So yeah, it, if he miss, if Derisaw misses the Lions game, but is nearly 100% for the rest of the way after that, I'm fine with it. Speaking of rookies, on using King, Kenne, and Wangu, special teams star on offense, Chad Graff, the athletic go. Mike Zimmer said Kenne and Wangu will play some on offense this week with Dalvin Cook out. We'll find some ways to use him, Zimmer said of Nwangu. And yes, absolutely. With Dalvin out, you need to find ways to just get the ball in the hands of explosive players. And King Kenne... Special teams, we've seen it at Iowa State in spurts. We saw it where, hey, if you just get on the ball, some special things can happen. One cut and go, the size, the speed, the quickness, he is a physical freak all day long. And, yes, Madison will probably get the bulk of the carries. Uh, he's been there, done that, got the T-shirt in terms of replacing uh, uh, Dalvin Cook. He's had two 100-yard games, including one against Detroit, uh, in the two starts that he's had with Dalvin out this season. So I think that it will be a mix. I don't think the Vikings will just get away from the run. I think they're still a run first team to open things up on the pass, even though maybe they should flip things around. Mm, but Madison and Ken Kenne, uh, Madison getting the bulk of the work, but if Wangu gets five, seven touches uh, on offense uh, on Sunday, I think that's a really good mix. On the juggernaut, Michael Pierce potentially returning uh, against the Lions. Chad Graff, the athletic go. Mike Zimmer said that he hopes Michael Pierce will be able to return this weekend after missing the last seven games due to an elbow injury. Uh, he also mentioned that he's hopeful that Anthony DeBar plays, so maybe that defense is going to get a little bit healthy at the right time. Uh, Andre Patterson said earlier on Wednesday that uh, Dalvin Tomlinson could return from COVID as soon as tomorrow, so it would be really great for the Vikings defensive interior against the Lions to get Michael Pierce back and Dalvin Thompson back, have those two healthy and ready to go for the stretch run because the Vikings have been piss poor stopping the run as of late. Now, they weren't great stopping them with, with Dalvin and, and uh, Michael Pierce in the lineup as well, so maybe that comes down to scheme, maybe that comes down to tactics, whatever, but the way that the Niners just ran the ball down the Vikings' throat against that backup defensive line, and respect, Armand for Watts, James Lynch played pretty well, but yeah. Having Pearson Thompson back and Anthony Barr back, by the way, uh, who's dealing with a hamstring injury on top of his knee issue, uh, that would be good for the defense. And lastly, speaking of running the ball, Courtney Corona, ESPN, Mike Zimmer said even before Delvin Cook's shoulder injury, the Vikings aren't running the ball well. What needs to change? Quote, I feel I feel like we're getting a lot of people penetrating on us. We have to stop the penetration. That's been one of the biggest things. We have to come off the ball and finish uh, and be able to get some guys cutting on the backside. But I don't know if there were on the front side. There was too much penetration. We have to eliminate that. And he's right. The Vikings, even though they want to run the ball, teams know that the Vikings want to run the ball. So they're going to sell out to stop Dalvin Cook first and foremost. And then they'll worry about Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson later on. I think that's why Jefferson and Thielen have had a couple of really big games uh, after the bye. So uh, I think the Vikings need to adjust. Yes, they still want to run the ball. But also, let's let's take what the defense is giving you. If they're giving you Jefferson, if they're giving you Thielen, if they're giving you Gronklin and KJ, go after that as well. And just running the ball up front, especially when you have a lead, a touchdown lead, like they've had in all 11 of the games this year, or a double-digit lead. You have to be able to run the ball, salt away the clock, keep possession, keep the chains moving, and it comes down to attitude. Just getting up front, not letting your guy blow up your gap, and just getting after it. So I think that the tide will change. I think that Mason Cole up front really helps. I think Ezra Cleveland playing out of his gourd is phenomenal as well. So hopefully that will get solved. Even with Dalvin out of the lineup, I think they still can run the ball effectively with Madison, with Nwangu, uh, and open everything else up on offense. But uh, that's it. That's our thoughts on Zimmer's thoughts. What are your thoughts on our thoughts on Zimmer's thoughts? Nailed it. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Viking Stakes. Venmo. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. 
If you want to support the work, put a little, a little something in there. But until next time, Skull, production value.